for detail. Again, but I'm not getting any work done on any of my cars today. I'm here to see the owner, Kev, and his lovely E46 BMW. Hello. Kev, tell us a little bit about your BM. Right, well, it started out uh, 2002, E46 Coupe, uh, 325. Uh, it's obviously the 2.5 petrol. Um, it's had a few tweaks over the nine years that I've owned it. Um, I don't think there's much left standard anymore. Um, obviously full paintwork. Had a, a bit of an upgrade under the bonnet as well. Um, we'll talk about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a lovely thing, isn't it? What colour is this, Kev? It's actually, well, it starts out carbon black, uh, but it's Jaguar Ultimate Black. Oh, so when you get it out in the sun, it's got like a red, green, blue, blue fleck in it. So it's really nice out in the sun, but inside or in the shade, it just yeah. looks jet black. It's a uh, really nice print. Yeah, it looks lovely in the light in the air. Yeah. It looks lovely in the light. Yeah, and it's not a, it's not a standard BM, is it? It's a bit of a toy. No, a bit of a sleeper from certain angles, if you don't know what it is. It's, yeah. um, it just looks like, you know, some 17 year old put a set of wheels on his on his car, yeah, yeah. but... Um, Last time I was here getting the Cosworth, uh, Kev did the interior detail on the Cosworth. I'm hoping to go and get it ceramic coated in the next like, year or so, but I need to save up for that. Um, but last time I was here, I noticed this in the car park and I asked a few questions and, and I think Kev was a tiny bit reluctant to tell me any details because he wasn't 100% happy with how the car was. But you've recently done a lot of work to it, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, like we got it all together last year, got it working, uh, but there's a lot of little issues that need to sorting out. So yeah. I thought, you know what, while the weather was bad over um, you know, the winter and that, uh, get all the little problems sorted out. And it's um, just literally got back together in the last, last week or so. Yeah. Uh, it's still got a couple of little little issues, but you know, what project looks, star doesn't. It, to me, it, it, look, it looks complete, it looks stunning. Yeah. A lot of people that are trying to fill the car, a lot of people don't want don't want it doing, you know, because they have to find little defects, but the camera doesn't pick up little defects, but I'm, I'm telling you what, this car looks absolutely stunning, there's no defects on this. So Kev, can you tell us a bit about your shiny engine bay? Well, um, as you can see, it's had a, a little bit of work done to it. Um, so it was a 2.5 straight six, it's now the 3 litre, um, so it's the M54 B30 that's in there now. Um, it's running a Holster HX35 turbo. Yeah, it's massive isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, only running 11 PSI, so it's sort of quite reserved, but yeah. I wanted to run things on the safer side. Yeah. Since it's more of a daily driver, I didn't know what I wanted the reliability there. Um, so we went for a charge cooler route as well. I've never seen anyone with a turbo conversion of an E46 do a water to air charge cooler. Mm. Um, a couple of reasons why I want to do that. Um, one, keeping air conditioning. Um, so you cannot run the pipe work around the front for the front mount without losing your air conditioning. Um, and also keeping the uh, pipe run short as possible, so obviously less lag. Uh, and it seems to have worked really well. They say, um, they say charge coolers are a bit more reliable than these because you can keep the temperatures lower, can't you? Yeah, I mean one of the little, little things we had to sort out during the winter was, I found last year, it worked great when you were moving. Yeah. As soon as you got stuck in traffic, the oh, charge yeah. temperature water yeah, yeah. just rose up and up but would never come down. Yeah, so yeah. we've actually added some quite powerful fans on the front of the radiator. Oh, it's okay. Um, which is switchable from the inside just to try yeah. and keep them cool. Um, so yeah, I mean it works really reliably um, it keeps the, the inlet temperatures down to sort of, you know, a full boost uh, to about 25-30 degrees centigrade, uh, which is ideal. You're only running, so you're, did you say you're running so many PSI boost? It's 11 PSI boost. So that's not even a bar, is it? What, no. I think it was a 16 so it was or 7. Yeah, 7, 6.7. So you've got loads of scope there, haven't you, to go more if you, oh, want, yeah. to, if you want to push it, yeah. shall we say? I mean, it's running standard internals, um, so it's not forged. Yeah. Apparently you can run up to 500 horsepower safely. Yeah. However, I thought, again, just for reliability, pull it back a bit. Yeah. And run and it about, you know, yeah. 400, cool. 400 horsepower is the, the magic number. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah 400 yeah. horsepower is rapid, isn't it? Especially oh, yeah. with a two-wheel drive car. Yeah. yeah. Rear-wheel drive as well. Yeah, that's it. Look, looks awesome, mate. Looks awesome. Who did all the pipe work for you? Uh, so it was actually Gary Jones Metal Art next door. Oh, nice, yeah. <laughs> he, he's done a lot of fabrication here, yeah. hands down to him. He's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, it's my um, Custom service polishing in Ellsman Port. Polished everything. He spent literally weeks on all the aluminium trying to get it. Oh, nice, yeah. Uh, done a fantastic job there. 
Um, I mean, obviously all the engine bay has been painted, um, you know, everything's been fabbed up. Um, great addition though, and I think it was needed to try and keep the cool as well as the uh, PS designs. Oh yeah, I love that. There in luck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so straight in through a turbo guard screen. Yeah. Um, as you can probably see, we cannot run a filter in there. Yeah, it's very so, tight. Yeah, isn't it? okay, it's not going to suck any leaves or anything in, but you know, the lighting looks awesome. Yeah, nice. I guess you need to beat your dinner off it. You being a detailer <laughs> than that, you know what I mean? Even the wings look super shiny and that. Yeah, yeah, well, it's all attention to detail, isn't it? Yeah, looks good. <laughs> Are you alright, take me out today? Should we yeah, take the beast out? Let's go for the spin. So, I'm on. Two big strapping lads, Kevin. I was going to say, for the thing that's been a ballast in yeah, the passenger side. Big strapping lads. So, how long have you been detailing for, Kev? Um, well, I've actually been doing that on the side, probably for about 20 odd years. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, it's a good resist. <laughs> I like that little, like. Yeah. Is that a waste, waste case or what is. Yeah, so it does have a bit of turbo flutter on it. We yeah. just put a dump valve on it. Um, but doesn't quite open quick enough. Yeah. So you still get a bit of flutter, but I actually quite like the flutter. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, nice I, 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 like I run a, a, a comb filter on the yeah, Cosi, so yeah. you get the flutter through the comb yeah, filter. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but no, it's quite a nice, uh, quite a nice sound. Yeah. It's lovely in here, like though, isn't it? Nice, nice bit of black leather. Yeah. Lovely. There's a gloss black roll cage. Sunroof. Oh, all the mod cars still got yeah. heated seats and everything. Lovely flock dash. Who did your dash for you, Kev? That was Raj at Auto Flock. Oh, right, okay, yeah. He, Absolutely he brilliant, yeah. yeah. Um, I need to get back to him actually because I want the top of the doors doing to match. Oh, nice, yeah, um, that'll be nice, yeah. Yeah, but no, he's done all the centre console and everything. That's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, he's done a lovely job, like, yeah. hasn't he? And even the, um, the carbon fibre engine plates. Um, oh, right, okay, so he's the, doing the carbon fibre now as well? Yeah. Oh, uh, nice, yeah. Basic CNC machined, little carbon fibre plates. Again, absolutely brilliant. The detail yeah. in it is, is fantastic. And, and, and what's this company name? Autoflock, is it? Autoflock. Autoflock, um, right. Over in Mould, North Wales. Right, okay. Um, stand he, you know what? He's got a YouTube channel there as well. Oh, so um, stand, okay. Yeah, he has some really decent content on there, so always worth a look. Awesome, guys. You want any flocking or carbon fibre work? It's got a 200 cell sports cat in it. Oh, so Try and uh, keep up the emissions. Yeah. Uh, the Simon's back box. Three inch stainless all the way. Um, and of course, the turbo tends to chop up the noise a bit as well. Yeah. Um, so it's actually pretty quiet. It doesn't drone or anything. It's got that lovely BMW six cylinder noise to it, though, hasn't it? Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Can't beat that six cylinder noise. No, like. no, no. No watching the, uh, the car chase scene in Ronin. Yeah. Just what may be by yeah. the <laughs> Yeah, place. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll see you. I know you mean. <laughs> the RS6 in it. That's my favourite bit where he's racing around in the Audi RS6. Oh, yeah. What yeah. is it, an R? Um, it's a, an S6. 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 The one on Nitrous. So like, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a good film, that. <laughs> Very good film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
And also, it won't let you have the power back yeah. until you take the foot off the throttle. So, if you leave it on fully, it's no good. What's a good size back tyre have you got on? Um, it's a 255 35. It's a wide one, then, isn't yeah, it? So, it's a yeah. wide bit of meat, like. Yeah. With the Yoko 808Rs on it, trying to get some yeah, great. decent grip. <laughs> yeah. It's a little bit sketchy when it gets down there. What suspension are you on, Kev? It's on BC Coilovers. Oh, nice, yeah. Yeah, so it's all the road series. Um, it's got fully poly bushed. Uh, it's got the M3 front and rear anti roll bars on it. Um, you know, basically anything we could upgrade. Yeah. We've upgraded to the M3 stuff. I noticed earlier it's got like adjustable back arms and stuff on it, hasn't it? Yeah, so hard race uh, rear camber arms on it. Um, so again, we can try to adjust it. It's got QFAB, uh, toe adjusters on it, on the back. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it, it's lined up really nice. Yeah. Um, so it, it is quite uh, quite stable as well on the power. I bet you'd be quite nice on the track, you know, like, just because you've got it, all, got it all set up, haven't you, really? You, you know what? People keep on saying, everyone says to me, when you're getting it on the track, it's like... <laughs> 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 you probably couldn't deal with the stone chips I'm getting. Oh, no, stone chips are a bit of rubber. <laughs> <laughs> wheels and the headlights. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it, it will just drive normally as well. Yeah. But you know, you can just tootle around and it, it's, it's just normal. You take your missus for ice cream and all that, innit? Oh, no the, problem. The, miss, the missus hates this car. <laughs> it's, apparently it's a drug dealer's gangster car. It's <laughs> too, too noisy, too fast, which spends most of the time like that. <laughs> they are mad women, aren't they? <laughs> can't live with them, can't live without them either, can we? Yeah, that's it. So you said you've had it a long time? Yeah, so I've had this um, just over nine years now. Basically, I was stuck for the car um, and I needed a car quick because my old one went bang. Um, and I've always wanted an uh, E46 coupe, yeah. petrol. So it's literally the only one I could find. It was battered. Um, I had no service issue with it. The oil was like treacle. Um, every panel had been air sold. It was just not a nice example. Uh, it's of course been panel beater painter working in the body shops. Um, got it, we did all the body work and everything, and it went from there really. Um, and we just sort of built at it and built at it um, until it got to a point I loved everything about the car. I loved the way it looked, I uh, loved the way it drove, loved the way it sounded. It was just too slow. Yeah. Um, so the 2.5 is what 187 horsepower, it just, especially by today's standards, it was not enough. Uh, so that's when we decided to um, pull the motor. Rebuild a 3 litre and uh, strap a turbo to it as well. Sounds like a great idea. Yeah, yeah. I love stories when people have had a car for so long, you know what I mean? Yeah. Anyone could go out there and buy a car on finance, can't they? Yeah. But you've bought a car, done it up yourself, done, done like, should we say, 95% of the work yourself, yeah. you know what I mean? I love all that. Yeah. Built, not bought. Yeah, I love it. Because it is, it is, it, it, it's one of them, isn't it? You can't buy stuff like this off the shelf. No, no, no. You know what I mean? For a 3 litre turbo VM. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it, it's literally, it's like building your dream car. You, you build it to whatever yeah. spec you want, and that's what I've done. The only thing I'm not 100% sure about, and we may be changing next winter, it's still got a five-speed gearbox. Yeah. Okay, we've upgraded it to the ZF, which will take the power. Yeah. Um, but the plans are for an eight-speed sequential going in. Oh, sick. So, yeah, we're figuring out how to do it. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, you have to wrap the run ECU or something. Yeah, with it's a the, standalone uh, ECU on it. Yeah. Um, but fully programmable. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, I'll definitely have to get you back on the channel with that. Oh, uh, yeah, that'll be interesting. Yeah, that'll be sick, that. 
BMW coupes for the for the, for the, for the back windows when you go out on motors. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, that's sick, that. <laughs> I've got suspension set quite hard at the minute, so you soften up if you're on a long journey or something. Yes. Yeah. It's, 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 it's doable. It's like you can, you can deal with the car. Oh, yeah. It bounces. Three bench tents are going everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so, what sorts of cars do you detail, Kev? Anything? Basically, any, anything from classic customs. We've got a, a, a Mark 1 850cc Fiesta in a few weeks back. Um, anything up to no, we had Master Martin in last week. Cozzies, basically anything. You know, it's, uh, there's no, um, no sort of limits on. But you do you do offer other services, don't you? <laughs> no, I mean like like because you were doing you, you were doing um, interior trims and bits and pieces like that, weren't you? Oh. It's not just all about cleaning no. and coating. I'm no. trying to talk and we're boosting away. Yeah, they're getting thrown back in the seat. Oh, it's flying. Thanks for your time and I'll see you on the next one. Later. Awesome thing. Nice one. Oh, you rooted. Please like it, subscribe.